In the latest episode of Gold Rush Season 14, titled Succession, Tony Beats fulfills Kevin Beats' desires, creating an unexpected turn of events. Beyond this, the episode unfolds with machine troubles for one gold miner, a surprising discovery for another, and a daring gamble by the third. Parker Schnabel takes Tony Beats on a tour of his significant acquisition, the Dominion Creek property. During the tour, Parker showcases all the machinery he plans to put up for sale. Surprisingly, Tony, instead of making a purchase, showers Parker with praise, expressing pride in what Parker has achieved. In a reciprocal gesture, Parker expresses gratitude to Tony, acknowledging that without Tony taking a chance on him, he wouldn't be in his current position. Tony's admiration is sincere, emphasizing that he recognized Parker's strong work ethic and was pleased to collaborate with someone dedicated to making their gold mining venture a success. Tony astutely points out that Parker's desire is not something one can acquire from formal education. Although Parker received guidance from the best, his grandfather John Schnabel, Tony emphasizes that it was the hard lessons he himself learned that contributed to his own success. In stark contrast, Kevin Beats seeks recognition and praise, but Tony remains silent on such matters. Kevin's absence at the beginning of Gold Rush Season 14, attributed to gardening, appears to be more of a demonstration of his indispensability than genuine horticultural pursuits. Despite his return last week, a noticeable lack of communication between Tony and Kevin is evident. Interestingly, Tony reserves his commendations for Parker Schnabel, underscoring the marked difference in how he acknowledges success and hard work. The action then moves to the boomerang cut, where a wash plant is relocated, signaling a new chapter in Parker's mining venture. One of the highlights is Parker negotiating with a father and his two sons interested in purchasing surplus equipment and leasing ground from him. As Parker tours their claim, the possibility of collaboration in the upcoming season is teased. Additionally, viewers are treated to the revelation of a mysterious muddy mummified mammoth that the team stumbled upon and selflessly handed over to the government rather than selling. Golden Discoveries with Rick Ness Meanwhile, Rick Ness faces his own challenges, including the need to rent a water pump before announcing his planned return to Rally Valley. The bench cut experiences difficulties due to rain-rutted roads, causing tension among the team. However, a team meeting helps settle the disputes, and a cleanup operation uncovers an impressive 65.89 ounces of gold, showcasing the team's determination to overcome obstacles. Tony Beats Troubles In Tony Beats Camp, the struggles continue as Kevin wrestles with adjusting the trauma roller rings using brute force and colorful language. The team also faces issues with the water pump, ultimately leading to a burning belt when starting the trommel. The episode captures the Beats boys battling with backbiting and disagreements, culminating in Kevin's decision to leave the site. Despite Tony's offer of his own claim, Kevin declines, highlighting the severity of the issues within the team. The episode leaves viewers with a sense of uncertainty surrounding Tony Beats' operation.